Well, uh, you, you said you wanted that five-star pizza from Gino, so I was thinking the next best thing would be uh, right here. Mama Kazi's. What's going on, y'all? Ground and Motive here, back in this thing again, man. And today I'm going back to that boy Kevin Sims again, man. My homeboy sent me this video off of Twitter. And uh, he says a couple, two, three things that uh, I thought were interesting, man. I want to see what you guys think, so go ahead and comment down what your thoughts are. And make sure you subscribe too, man. But uh, let's go ahead and see what the hell he's got to say. Let's get it. You think like you should be able to slide into somebody's DMs and chatter up and then have her come through and Netflix and chill? I hear more bullshit from men talk about men, women out here dating this and that, and I'm not going to spend more than $20 on a date until I get to know something and so forth. That's what I think of all y'all saying that shit. It's like a really epic middle school. So I think of all men saying this shit, and let me tell you why I think that. Because it is on us to ask better questions before you take somebody out. If you end up going out with a woman and she is a dinner scammer, then you failed. That is a horrible attitude to go into the market. I'm going to treat all women. I'm going to take a woman that's obviously up here out to Starbucks because I don't want to get scammed for $30. Keep your broke ass at home. All right, man. So what would you guys think of that video right there? And uh, while it does make sense, I think that that's one of those, those different tools. I think that you have different tools for different situations. And that tool right there is uh, something that I feel like that you would use if you are dating with an end goal. If you are dating out here on some casuals type stuff, you trying to bust some blocks, see who you can find out and all this kind of stuff, then I think filler dates are just fine. And then also on top of that, if, if you are dating with an end goal and, and for some reason that you, you feel like dating online is gonna be the way, or uh, finding somebody on Instagram is gonna be the way, I mean, yeah, a lot of people do find that on there, but. I still think filler dates are kind of okay because you can't really get the full tilt or the full feel of somebody online. You took a couple tender messages back and forth and uh, yeah, they said something that sounded good to you, but you still don't really know. So ladies, this one goes for y'all too, man. And uh, fellas, this is even going to apply to you guys as well, man. But this guy right here, he got sent to prison for three different counts of murder and then the fourth attempted murder. So this guy had three counts of murder. He graped the ladies. He torched them. He did whatever, man. So... As far as filler dates go, I think that they're A-OK, -okay, man, especially in today's climate where pretty much everything is online, man. You can't really get a full tilt or whatever, like I've said earlier. You can't you can't really get to know somebody just from a few sentences online. You can't ask them a question because they can easily act it out. So I feel like a filler date is fine. Ladies, there's no reason why you should just come to the guy's house on the first date unless you've already been knowing this guy for a long time and then he just started, you guys started talking in that way. Then I can see you going to his house first date. But if you just met a guy online, no, no Netflix and chill. And men, the same goes for you, man. You don't know if this lady is crazy. You don't know if she's a stalker. You don't know what the hell is going on, man. So you gotta, you gotta make sure you get a filler date on her too, man. She don't just get to come to the house, or I guess you can come to her house or something. Who knows? But that still could be a setup. You never know with today, man. But uh, I just wanted to show y'all this, man, to show y'all that there's more to having a filler date. Then finding out about a dinner scammer, man. You got extreme weirdos out here, man, that could put your life in jeopardy, man. So make sure you be on the lookout, man, and be as cautious as possible, man. Yeah, on Instagram, y'all had a couple good th two, three DMs back and forth. Yeah, she like all your pictures. Yeah, she's always saying something nice in the comments when you post a new picture. Yeah, she always responds well when you, po when you post a comment on her picture. Yeah, but you still don't know what she looks like. She might pull up to the date like this hell. So you, you might need a filler date, man. I, don't, I, don't, I just personally don't find anything wrong with that. I think it kind of goes uh, against what he said last time where he was talking about the girl who had, uh, you know, she's talking about she, how she had three different guys. And, uh, you know, she was mad that, that they were wanting sex so quickly. And she couldn't, I guess she's so silly, she couldn't figure out why. I think it kind of goes against that a little bit because you do have, you got girls out here like that. And even if they are dating with an end goal, you, you've got girls out here like she was supposedly dating with an end goal saying, yeah, I'm dating three guys so I can maximize my options and see who's what. And there are a lot of girls out here who do that still. They, they're they dating with an end goal supposedly, but they're, they're dating multiple guys. So you don't know if you're gonna be the guy that they decide on. 
So I think personally, it's okay to have an initial filler date. I think after that, once you've met them one time, if you decide that their vibe was good, if you decide they look up to your specifications or whatnot, I think now it's time to go for a formal date. But uh, you can't be out here three filler dates in a row like a duck ass dummy. That's stupid. Was taught me, or do I go with what I know in my heart? I guess the bank account decided. Let's see if I find enough money to take Ursula out on a nice date. Forty-seven twenty-eight. Oh, oh man, I'm still suffering from that date I went on three months ago with that bitch. Oh shit. Oh man, these overdraft fees are killing me. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to go out on another filler date. Coffee, or I've got something else in mind. <laughs> hey! You look good today. Oh, oh, yeah, thanks. Are these easies? <laughs> yeah, got them, uh, got them off StockX. Yeah, got them for a deal. <laughs> Paid $2,500. Those losers don't know what they're doing. <laughs> oh, wow. So, what are we gonna do today? Uh, well, I was thinking, uh, I was going to trade you on an exotic trip to Trader Joe's. Jimmy, slow down. I'm getting tired. Keep up. Keep up. How far out is this Trader Joe's? Oh, you're so lazy. We only got five more miles to go. If you, if you would keep up with your fitness, you would, you'd be, able, you'd be able to do this with ease. We got to cut through a couple, couple people's more yards. And then, next thing you know, we'll be there. But we've been walking for 30 minutes already. Well, I mean, you could use the weight loss. Look at you. Look at you. Yeah, I said it. Is that why every time we go to the coffee shop, you only get me black coffee with yeah. no cream and no sugar? Yeah, it burns fat. And it, it's cheap. Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm not spending any money on anybody and taking risks. If you're a waste of time, there's no point in me spending money on you. Jimmy, I thought we are going to Trader Joe's. Why are we stopping here at Aldi? Look here, woman. You're so lazy. Good things come to those who wait. Trader Joe's is just two more miles, so I'm just going to have you set up for Aldi's, all right? So you've got a $20 spending limit. Don't go over that, all right? And if you if you buy something that's too expensive, then we're just going to have to end it. Jimmy, they have the keto ice cream. I'm, I'm on a keto diet. Can I have this? Huh, keto doesn't work. That's why you look so bad now. Put that shit back. $3.99? <laughs> You're so above the budget. Well, uh, you, you said you wanted that five-star pizza from Gino, so I was thinking the next best thing would be uh, right here. Mama Kazi's Rising Crush Supreme Pizza. You can't beat that. And then uh, also, oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, yeah, you, in your $20 budget, like, I, I got to add my stuff in there, so uh, maybe we'll make it more like a... An eight dollar budget so uh yeah i wanted uh i wanted to grab this here some of this uh this lobster mac and cheese you see that 6.99 so that's gonna that's gonna take a nice little bite out of your budget so uh yeah whatever else you get next is uh it's pretty much it so yeah there's there's that jimmy look at this rolled oats old-fashioned uh let's see how much those are uh i can make you breakfast tomorrow morning with these uh goodbye $219. Well, uh, I've got to pay the light bill tomorrow, so I said $20 limit. 19 cents over is not going to work, so put those back. Yep, yep, uh-huh, yeah. Jimmy, 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 hold up. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to continue this date with you. What? You've been treating me like crap for the past few weeks. Why did you do that? Well, look here. So this this last girl, a couple weeks ago, she, she took me for all my money. I went on like five, seven dates with her and I didn't get anything out of it. 
And after that, I found a red pill community. It made me smarter, stronger, faster, and it brought the alpha out of me. And they told me, you should only take girls on filler dates. There's no need to be spending all this money, especially if they're gonna waste your time. So that's what we're doing right now. And if you can't get with it, then you might need to get lost. Wow, so you're just one of those guys that are overdosing on that red pill stuff. How does that make sense that you're punishing me for something look here, that- Look look, 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 look. According to the red pill guys, all of you are the same, sluts and emotional. So that's that. Look, look, are you gonna come upstairs and bang or not? Jimmy, I don't think this is who you really are. Psh, don't waste my time. <sighs> Jimmy. G give me those groceries. Ah. Yeah. I didn't go as planned. Yeah, at least I got some good groceries out of it. Hey, what's bro, up, Steve? what's going on, bro? Like, uh, so how's the date go, man? Well, yeah, man, it, it didn't go, it didn't go as planned, man. Uh, no. Yeah, man, I, I tried to use some of the red pill dating tactics and just, yeah, man, it, it actually kind of backfired on me. I just, yeah, I just don't know, man. Uh, and and I and I and I spent money on all those courses. Yeah, bro, you went out sad, bro. You super chatted them too. I bought Donovan Sharp's woman knees and it didn't help. Bro, I could have told you that. I even bought Marvin Gaze's pandemic pickup. Bro, why? The pandemic's basically over. What are you doing? But, but we're still being, we're still wearing masks. Man, huh. well, man, I, I I've got to get back on the hub, man, uh, cause it was a nice, a nice successful night, man. So I'm back to the hub, and uh, yeah, maybe uh, maybe we could play Call of Duty later. Or something, Sorry, bro, man. I got a date, dude. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. That's what I was calling to I tell you. Yeah, maybe I'll go black pill. Who knows what I'll do, man? Sorry. Uh, I, I yep. Go. All right, bro. Yep. You think you're going to go filler date uh, coffee shop, filler date at the bar drinks, filler date walk in the park? Nah, bro. That's just not going to work, man. Because if she's having a couple, two, three guys, and, and I feel like most girls have options, regardless of, of who it is, man, unless she's just the most boring girl from, in the world or, you know, she's got, she's recently came from some situation where, like I don't know, like she where she wasn't really around too many men or something like that. Then there's gonna be a couple, two, three options that she's looking at. And if you're the guy who keeps on going out on on broke guy filler dates, then she's gonna look at it as you're not really into her. Or the other guy who's putting out the formal dates and he's kind of doing a little bit more, she's gonna go for him. Even if you might be the best looking guy, you might have the most charisma and all that kind of stuff. She might just go for him because she feel like, oh, he's putting a little bit more effort in it. So that's, that might be what it is. You never know. So uh, you got to watch it, man. It's kind of a tricky thing, man. You got to juggle that thing right, man. I think an initial filler date is cool. After that, it's not cool, man. If you're dating for for purpose or whatever, as they say, or uh, you know, with an end goal, and you maybe you've talked to this person enough and you got a you got a little bit of uh understanding of how they go like you guys are talking a good a bit amount then yeah i, I can see fun with that i think if you uh if you if you've known somebody but you guys you've like you know you've met them in person or something like that and you guys haven't been you guys haven't talked like you know like in that kind of way then i think yeah it's cool to go on a formal date but if you guys are are you know talking online or chatting it up on the instagram i think uh I think filler date is cool, man. And like I also said, if you're out here on the bus and block uh, circuit, filler dates, because you just don't know. And you really just trying to bust and block and uh, just like how she's trying to dinner scam, you're trying to bust and block two scammers in, in a pot. So there's that, man. Uh, what do you guys think about that, man? Do you do you think that uh, regardless of what Kevin said, I'm still going on a filler date. Or do you think that, uh, yeah, it should be formal all the way. You should invest in what you want. I think I do think you should invest in what you want, but I think that it has to be a worthwhile investment. And just because you talk to somebody online, I, I mean, yeah, you can ask questions and all that kind of stuff, but they can say whatever the hell they want to say online versus what they do in person. So uh, that's a little bit different. So it's, uh, it's understandable, but at the same time, just a little flawed. What do you guys think about it? I appreciate you guys watching up to this point. Let me know what you think. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.